Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to be doing a pork butt, okay? We have a nine and a half pound pork butt, okay, that we prepped last night, and we're going to put on the Char Griller 980 this morning, all right? So what we did last night is that we uh, took our pork butt and we cleaned it up a little bit, and then we put about an inch to an inch and a half slices or slits in the top of the pork butt to open it up to allow more surface space for the rub to adhere to okay so we hit it heavily with this rub that we found on uh, all recipes okay by a, someone named uh, chef bayou it's called bayou's bodacious pork rub okay so that's what we're making today we're making some chef bayou's bodacious pork um but pork pulled pork today okay so let's call it chef bayou's bodacious pulled pork okay that's what we're making today all right so now we sprayed it down with some uh, pam we hit it heavily with the rub then we uh, tied it back together so that we could kind of seal it back up and close those slits up uh for the cooking process all right we stuck it in the fridge and it, it's been marinating in that rub all night okay so now we're gonna take it out of the pan. We're gonna put it on a rack. It's uh, coming up to room temperature right now. And we're gonna throw it on the char griller, all right? So we, we're making pulled pork today, so we're gonna be taking it up to a temperature of 160 degrees internal. And we're cooking at 275 degrees today. Uh, we have Kingsford charcoal in the chute. But instead of putting chunk wood in there today, I wanna try something a little bit different. Okay, because of the uh, the problems some people have been having with putting wood down in the ash catcher pan or the uh, the pain of taking the charcoal out of your chute to put wood down in the bottom of it uh, or mix it in with your charcoal for from cook to cook, we're going to try using a, a pellet tube today. Okay, so what I have in this pellet tube today is a combination of Pit Boss cherry pellets and Naughty Woods plum pellets so we got plum and cherry pellets together so it should add some sweetness to the cook while adding that reddish color that we get from cherry pellets okay so that's enough talking let's go ahead and get the bad boy on here and let's see what we get today all right so we're gonna get ahead and get our pork butt on here our temperature is up to 275 degrees we're gonna hit this with some pam our bacon our rack okay we'll put this on here right in the middle We're gonna, here's our pork butt that's been sitting in the fridge all night with all of that rub on it okay I'm gonna stick that right here all right we're gonna close this and come back in a few minutes and set our smoking tube all right guys we're gonna go ahead and try to get our smoking tube lit hopefully it stays lit throughout the cook Got our Joe Chef torch. We're gonna hit these until the ends of them flame up and we can blow them out and we can put it inside of the char griller. Now, hopefully there's enough airflow inside the char griller and it should be with the fan going to keep these pellets smoking the entire cook or at least until we wrap. We've got smoke. All right, let's get this in here. I'll put this over here and I'll put the opening out here close to the door so that if I have to relight it again I can and there's our smoke all right so we'll come back when it hits 160 degrees I'll put the thermometer in here the temperature probe and then we'll wrap at that time and we'll see what we have so hey hang around don't go nowhere
right, guys, so we're finished with our cook. It's been sitting here in the cooler for about an hour and 45 minutes or so. I can still feel the heat inside of this cooler here. That top is really hot, so I know that the pork butt is still nice and hot, okay? So and before we get to pulling this, I wanna talk about the rub a little bit. Like I mentioned before, I got this off the All Recipes website. And I'll put the link up here on, on the screen, but this um, rub recipe probably had about 12 to 15 different ingredients in it. So it is gonna be either overpowering or it's gonna be something I've never tasted before, okay? Uh, also, it made a container of rub, uh, probably about that size. So I would cut the recipe in half uh, if you don't want to have this uh, Bayou Bodacious rub around for a long time. So hopefully it tastes good and we'll be able to use that Bodacious rub on some other uh, cooks in the future, okay? So uh, that's enough for talking. Let's go ahead and bring you close and we'll go ahead and pull this bad boy out the thermos and get it pulled. All right, guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull the actual pan out and open it in front of you guys. Let's take a look at it. Let's see what we got here. Boy, it's got a lot of nice liquid in here nice and tender almost fall apart right now so we're gonna move this to another pan and uh get this pulled i really need to get me some gloves with some cotton inserts that way i won't burn myself let's see how this bone came out now look at there boy that bone is nice pretty and clean so you know that's a good smoke there look at there came out fantastic all right let's put this back in the pan let's use our fork and don't forget we got string that we can just pull straight through. And that's the string that we use to tie up our pork butt to compensate for the cuts that we made in it. Okay, there's one more string somewhere. And I'm sure it'll come out sooner or later. But man, this is just falling apart. Look at that. No effort at all. There's the other string, right there. All right, string, let go of the barbecue. Well, that's the fat from the bottom, so we can discard that. All right, wow, this is gonna be some fantastic pulled pork. Smells fantastic. It's been a while since I made pulled pork too. All right, so I'm not gonna add anything to it since we added so much to it with, between the sauce in between the rub let's go ahead and have our taste test all right guys we're going to go ahead and have a taste test man this has a fantastic smoke ring on it i don't know if you guys can see it or not i'll hold this up a little bit so but it's got a great smoke ring to it and remember we used the combination of uh knotty woods plum and pit boss cherry in the smoking tube man it's got a great man smells fantastic okay Here's the first taste test, a little bark and a little bit of the smoke ring, which probably won't add any additional flavor, but what the heck. Moist, tender, juicy. The rub is fantastic, man. It's got kind of this sweet herbal type flavor to it. It's supposed to be kind of a bayou type, uh, I guess, Louisiana down south type flavor. So it's got filet and some other things in the rub, but this is fantastic. I definitely want to use that rub on some other things like some ribs. However, um, it could use a little bit more salt. So maybe hitting it with some of the dry rub after the fact will enhance the flavor even more. Mm, Got to have another bite. Mm. Oh man, this is really, really good. Really, really good. I mean, it's falling apart. It's smoky. It's juicy. Third time's the charm. Man, that is fantastic. The bark, the meat, the flavor. Like I said, just need to sprinkle a little bit more of the seasoning across the top of it just to enhance the flavor a little bit more and maybe toss in a little bit more of the hottish barbecue sauce from GQ Barbecue. The bark is really good. The bark has mostly all the flavor in it, um, but to get it all the way through, I need to add a few more things. 
Well, that's all we have time for, guys. Hey, if you're interested in trying this out, hey, check out the description block uh, under the video. I have the list of all the ingredients for uh, Chef Bayou's Bodacious Pork Rub. Uh, like I said, you might want to cut it in half because it made a ton of rub. So you might want to cut it in half so you can try it at first. And then if you uh, want to, you can make more, okay? Uh, also, if you guys are interested, check out uh, GQ Barbecue. I'll put the link in the description block. You can order their hottish uh, barbecue sauce. They got one called Toppy. And they have uh, some fantastic The Rub by GQ Barbecue. So you can't go wrong there either, okay? And uh, I'll put a description of everything that we used in this cook down in the description block, okay? Once again, I'm loving that char griller, okay? That char griller is fantastic, man. Like I say, you get that charcoal flavor, that smoky wood flavor with pellet-like control. And the um, char griller performed fantastic throughout the entire cook, okay? Uh, I already showed you the, uh, the time of the total cook. I'll put it up here again on the screen. But um, loving that char griller, man. It is fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Well, that's it. Hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there or a pork butt on somebody's smoker being a little bodacious. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker.